Hello Gemini, this is your forecast here for the Tarot, July 2015. And the month is starting off busy, 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 all right? <laughs> I see there's groups of people around you and I see you fluttering to and fro here with shared information. Uh, information that you're giving out, but also information that you're seeking and also finding. What a treasure chest that is for you being a Gemini. Now, in particular, pay attention to this one man that I do see showing up here at the get-go. He is very outgoing, he's charming, he's dynamic, he's very blunt and honest. And uh, I think that for you is something that you appreciate because this man is open. And he will be giving you some of those insights that you're looking for right now. And uh, if we go back a few months, maybe three to four months, it looks like you started off on a quest looking for a specific thing uh, in sight of. And uh, I feel, yes, you have accumulated a lot of knowledge here uh, on this level uh, on your quest. But it's like finding that golden key. This is what you will be receiving here sometime this month. Financially, Gemini, it's looking awesome. Just totally, totally awesome in your area of, of financial income. I see security around you. And I see a big smile on your face as well, where you're feeling now that you can take some of that extra money that you have accumulated and now put it towards your home. Uh, whether that means investing in a new home, that's not sure. Could be for some of you. Uh, others might just be looking at getting that, uh, purchasing that one thing that you've been dreaming about. It could be, you know, a new sofa. It could be a new refrigerator, appliances, or it might just be money going towards wanting to repaint. But there, there is money definitely going now, and this is happy money being spent. Why? Well, just because... Uh, the aftermath of this renewal is something that's going to linger and last for months on end where you're looking at that improvement and feeling that that was well-spent money. Now, I'm feeling too here. There's a woman that shows up. She is very down-to-earth, a grounded type personality. And uh, there's something that, that's been weighing on her, on her mind, or maybe she's been weighing on your mind. And if you haven't been in touch with this woman for a while, this would be the time to reach out. Maybe she's not doing too well. Or maybe that's just your thoughts that you're wondering, you know, how she is doing. So I would definitely say, you know, make that phone call or send that email that might have been uh, lingering in the back of your mind for a while. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. And uh, you will see that the respond on the other end here will be greatly here received. So definitely I see that she's been having some thoughts here about you as well. And uh, for whatever reason you haven't been in touch for a while, well, that can be many things. Sometimes life just goes off on its own course and uh, we can drift. But then again, uh, we can emerge down the road. And I think this is one of those things. Okay, so if you have a sister or a mother that lives out of town, I see that there's going to be more uh, connection here in July. Um, and uh, there's a short trip. So whether she's coming to see you or you might just be thinking about wanting to go uh, and visit there for a few days, it's a short trip. So we're not talking about taking, you know, a long term vacation here, but it could be a short trip where you'll be able to catch up, spend some time. And I'm feeling that there's something that might be a little unresolved here between you, uh, whether it's on your end, it could be on her end, but it's like these thoughts that have been circulating in your mind regarding whatever issue that may be, it, it's been held very close. Uh, it's like your hands have been a little tied, but now might just be the time here to uh, fix up those things. When it comes to love and romance here for you, Gemini, this should be a month where I feel um, mm, beautiful in many ways. And why I say that is because you're now allowed to pierce through to a certain point uh, in your relationship where I feel that you, for some time now, have been the observer of what's going on between the two of you. So where there has been some nonverbal communication, 
um, but kind of just looking at where you're at and where things might be going. Uh, it's as if you've been binding your time, waiting for the right moment to bring something up. Well, this will be a month where you can do so and do it gracefully in a beautiful way. There's a lot of healing here, so there must be some old issue. Uh, so talk about a month of healing. Here you have this female relative as well, <laughs> right? And then here is also with your partner. So we want to look at this as a gift from above uh, because there is divine timing for all things and that's only wisdom knowing when to step back not approach issues wait for you know that divine timing to step in and then it will come across in a beautiful way that can be received without creating any type of uh, defense mechanisms being uh, erected because then that's just going to hurt the situation more so uh, here be observant of uh, when you feel that that day will arrive here throughout the month. And then I'm saying that your partner will be very, very open to do so. There's been thoughts on his or her side as well. And then I feel you can make great, great headway. And that, of course, will allow the romantic energy between you to actually flow better. It's like unclogging an artery, right? Uh, doing that kind of work is very important from time to time. And uh, so the flow can continue to be healthy, happy, strong, and nurturing between the two of you. Now, as far as your shared resources, though, the money that you either have or hold with your partner, uh, I feel that this is something also that could be a little improved, uh, like where the money is going, how much is to be held, put aside for saving. Uh, some of you... Uh, might even be talking to your accountant or uh, to see how you can improve uh, more so uh, mm, securing your financial situation and like i said it's a good money month for you it's really showing up here that you have accomplished something and you're putting money towards the home for whatever so this could also indicate maybe just speaking to uh, a lender at your bank maybe finding a line of credit to do so uh, as well but here, Gemini, I, I really love the joy that's coming in. There's playfulness this month. And when you work hard, it's important to play hard. And uh, this would be the month, especially I'd like to say, uh, the very beginning of July looks good. And then the second half. All right. Uh, so the second, third week, that that's more, uh, I feel, those things that we've already covered. But then coming towards the end of the month, I'm feeling here from what I'm seeing a new idea that's going to be put forward. And it is okay to express what it is you dream about. And especially, you know, yes, to your friends, those around you, but especially to your partner, because if you're not expressing it, how will he or she know? They will have no clue what it is you're sitting there waiting, hoping, anticipating uh, for them to initiate. So when you put it out there, it just creates that much more of clarity and mutual goals that you can share and work towards. Uh, so you will find that you can do so easier this month uh, by putting it forward and then just wait and see how your partner um, will be happy to meet you halfway here to initiate. So that's going to turn around the energy in, in a wonderful way. I feel some of you uh, here, the younger ones, uh, dating and, and still not married. Some of you can even find a proposal coming to the forefront where I see you're talking long-term future together. And uh, in this, uh, yes, there is a commitment. And this might be a commitment that you've been dreaming about for a long time. So here we go. Things are coming up to uh, the, the surface. For those of you who are married, well, you know, you might have an anniversary coming up, and so that can be celebrated. Or it might just be that you're celebrating your love by verbally expressing it. And it is very important for your partner to hear where you're at, what you're feeling. Uh, it empowers him or her just as much as it is important for you to hear it from your partner from time to time so don't hold back you know it's important that we allow this channel to be open and we're talking about unclogging that artery <laughs> right uh, to keep that flow going and i feel this might just be the end result 
of whatever work, repair, communication that is showing up in your relationship area here for July. So beautiful, wonderful month to move ahead. Career-wise, yes, this is it. You may hear about new beginnings, which may or may not start up here in July, but you can hear about them here this month. So it gives you a little far-sighted information as far as where you're heading and what you can anticipate in the coming months. And it has to do with something you, you're you already doing because you've built your solid foundation. But here we're looking at the expansion of. And if there is a, a male, this could be a co-worker, it could be a supervisor, it could be your boss, uh, it could be a new client that you're going to be landing, for example, where you can do more work for. Uh, and uh, so I, I see you feeling really happy about it. And of course, this is also going to be stimulating uh, your income as we see it down the road, too. So there's a lot of, to be joyful about as far as your financial, your career, and especially the transformation going on here in the relationship area where things are just going to step it up, right? And uh, then, of course, these two women that are uh, the one who who's just laying there on your consciousness that you know where things have been quiet for a while do reach out to her and then whoever this female is within the family uh, somewhere uh, i feel that that will also become a very important meeting and sharing this month so gemini you got it made get more insights about july do as we do in the astrology readings. Listen to your moon or rising sign if you know it, because that will just give you more insights of what you can come to expect here on top of what we've already gone through, because that will also be valid for you. So listen, uh, Gemini, I will see you in August. So have a wonderful, splendid month and uh, see you then. Bye now.